Hey there, YouTube. Um, this is uh, what's our name? Oh yeah, um, we got Avengers. We're doing a, one of our first deck profiles today. It's me, Kevin. Um, I'm bringing you something new, something good. It's uh, Dimensional Police. It's my clan. Kicks teeth in, and I love it. <laughs> okay, deck so, build is standard because we only got four stands, four crits, four heal, four draw. Get that out of the way now. Just, you know. I play four Diamond Ace. Uh, they're Sentinels. Um, I really don't care about them in the deck because I play this so well that I kick like a fiend. And they become boosters. Um, four is just so I see them and if I need them. And because meta here is littered with Gold Paladin. We all know. Two Daisy. Uh, I played three. This is a test version, but it's working pretty fine. Where If I see her, I see her. If I don't, I don't. I run Comrade, so I hit 20k if I ever need to. Two Glory Maker. Uh, deck revolves around the Vanguard. Can't say more than that. Um, one was fine, but it kept getting hit into the damage zone, and I got pissed. So, she goes to two. Um, here we go. Four Laurel. This is the heart of the deck. This is this should be the heart of almost any deep police deck right now. Where it goes... Laurel is my rear guard, but he lets my vanguard stand up once during turn, and I kick face even harder. Um, the thing that makes it so intimidating is the fact that you can stand again, and... The vanguards, the great threes, they all activate their skills for like plus one crit or plus stand when you put a trigger on them. So, if he goes out and the vanguard gets their power up and you hit whatever it is, you stand up the vanguard. Um, he controls the tempo of the game and the deck itself, and I'll talk more about it later if ever. Uh, standard for ripple, get the search, get the ride, thin your deck. Um, two to an order. Uh, I originally ran four, but at the same time, I felt like the deck was lacking a bit of power in those times where I don't need to attack with him. Or actually, sorry, where I, when I need to attack with yours. So, I changed it up and played two Comrade, which is really, really working well. Because, you know, Storm is searchable. The only time it really sucks is if your Storm isn't 11k. Him in front of Laurel is 16k, which is perfect. And if you put it in front of Daisy, you hit 20, which is really, really nice. Um, Free wave. I could play four, I could play two, but three works perfectly fine. Like four Cosmo Beak, backbone of the deck as well. Puts on all the pressure twice as hard because it gives plus four to Vanguard. Uh, three Storm, this is my ideal. I only play three because I want an even balance if I don't run into wave. Um, this also is part of the daring part of the deck where I only run six grade threes, where I go three Dayusha as a backup. One of my favorite ones is what I call the tempo play, where it's like. You have your... Dimensional Police suck. Dimensional Police suck good! <laughs> Even though they beat me like six times today. Fucking <laughs> Yeah, I've been stomping, kicking teeth in all day with them. You're not playing Gold Paladin. <laughs> <laughs> Switching to Gold Paladin. Spectral <laughs> Doom. I don't know, this is a hypothetical good Wait, feel for me, where it's like... <laughs> you have your setup, your Vanguard is active. And what you do is, if you... You know, your opponent is just hounding you. They have like six cards in hand, you have maybe two from pushing like this. Um, this column here, attack the rear guard. And then your opponent's like, what? You're attacking the rear? Yeah, I'm attacking the rear guard. Okay, no guard. You go twin drive. You go, sure, stand, power. <laughs> I'm just doing this for jokes. Imagine this was like no trigger, but... You know, um, it activates the vanguard again. Or if it never had its skill in the first place, it activates it. And it sets up a power column, and your opponent... You get two twin drives in the turn, which is basically what you want to aim for. So you control the tempo using Laurel for standing and regaining hand. And after maybe one or two turns, you go back into an offensive stance, because you have like six cards, seven cards to just guard with and beat face with. Uh, one of the best plays of this deck, actually, is the grade two... I got grade screwed because I don't run enough grade three plays, as some people call it. Where it's... Sorry, um, Wave is the Vanguard, and I have Ripple in Soul for the level. Right, so people don't really look at the Grade 2 because it's like, oh, you're never going to be stuck on Grade 2, right? Um, his skill is, when he has 1400 or more, and he hits the Vanguard, draw a card. So you combo this with Laurel, I think you can put it together from here, but... If I'm great stuck, it's okay, because Laurel gives me my twin drive for the turn, and this card keeps my hand going and lets me cycle for my grade 3 as fast as possible. Thank you. Uh, that's most of the big plays in the deck. If I remember any, I'll put a separate video up if ever. Uh, any deck changes? Uh, probably just need to test running Comrade and these two more, if ever. Um, 
Laurel can go down to three, maybe, if, you know, I could put back the fourth Dayusha or the fourth Storm, but I'm pretty content with it right now, and it just needs more testing. Hey guys, thanks for watching. Please rate the video and please subscribe to both my channel, Chef Medicaid, and my new team channel, Team One Adventures. Alright, till next time, guys. Thank you very much again. Dimensional police. Uh, Dimensional police. Even though they beat me like six times today. Fucking <laughs>